Let's talk a little bit about growing up. Uh -huh. You grew up in Pittsburgh. Yep. Your father ran an auto upholstery. We didn't run it. He worked so, there. He worked there. Okay. Yeah. So what was that like, Mark, and, and how did that inspire you? I mean, my dad busted his ass. I mean, he worked six six days a week, um, left at 7, at 7, 7.30 in the morning, got back at 6 or 7 o'clock, um, lost his eye in an accident doing upholstery. He had a staple break when he was putting um, um, some covering on a car seat. Um, you know, it was, it was a, a middle-class upbringing. My mom did odd jobs. You know, they, they just wanted something better. I mean, my grandparents came over from Russia and, you know, my dad was the first generation. My uncles were the first generation Americans, like my mom too. And, you know, like every child of immigrants, they wanted better for their kids. You know, it's funny. I mean, a lot of people grew up that way, uh -huh. right? But not many people end up like you. So what do you think that's the result of? I think, you know, everybody's got something that they're good at. And the hard part is just finding it. And I found out early that I was a good salesperson, that I really liked business. You know, like I like sports. I mean, I read everything I possibly could, played sports as much as I could, just wasn't as good as I wanted to be. And, and business was the same way. I mean, as long as I could remember, I was buying and selling baseball cards, garbage bags, whatever I could find, stamps um, to collectors. But I was also reading everything I possibly could about business. And, you know, I was that unusual kid that, I'd rather read about Ted Turner than go to the movies. And, and so I think that created a foundation. And my parents didn't always, my dad used to always say, I don't understand what you're doing, <laughs> but I'm glad you're doing it. And, and so I had my ups and downs along the way, of course. But um, I just think that I just, I just put in the time and was fortunate enough to really get excited about business. And that paid off benefits over the long haul. I mean, you almost have to have that drive. Like, in other words, you can't fake it. You can't, no. like, pretend that you want to read about Ted Turner and, okay, I'll skip one movie. Well, it'll, it has I to mean, be in you your, can, your soul. Yeah, I mean, you can fake it too. You make it in a lot of areas, yeah. particularly if you're working for somebody else. But at the end of the day, um, if you're going to be great at something, you've got to make the effort to be great at something, um, whether it's sports, whether it's physics, math, science, business, whatever it may be. You know, it's not just a natural skill. You've got you've got to to learn, and particularly if you're in the technology industry, because it changes every day. You know, when I got started, and and you know, after I got I, I got a, was a bartender when I first came to Dallas, got into the PC industry, got fired, started my own company. But there, I learned early on that there was always something new, and most people didn't put in the time to learn it. It's like now with artificial intelligence. Lots of people talk about artificial intelligence. Lots of people talk about machine learning and neural networks. Not a lot of people are putting in the time to take classes or do the tutorials or to, to learn how to apply it to business. And that's what it takes. And, and you know, that's just something I've always enjoyed. So I, I've been fortunate in that. Now, wait a minute. Are you doing that with AI yeah, right absolutely. now? Yeah, absolutely. What are you doing? Oh, I, I mean, I, I've been on Amazon doing the machine learning tutorials. Right now, I'm going through, um, I've taken Python online classes. Really? I, yeah, absolutely. Um, if you go in my bathroom, there's a machine learning for dummies book. Um, I just started uh, JavaScript neural networks. Um, there's a little tutorial where they've got most of the library, brain.js and all the libraries. And it's not, if you have a background in programming, it's not hard, but I'm not trying to be great at that, but I want to understand it. So I understand all the, you know, so I, the nuanced elements of it and how it works so that I have an advantage.